everybody it is crystal from pineapple papers and today i'm excited to bring you a different kind of layout i've never used a mood board and this is a wonderful mood board from the crafty maven getaway and i'm not much of a sketch person but i was watching a youtube video by kelly oblack i believe is her name and she used a sketch so i decided i was going to use one as well so I went through my stash and I found this old crepe paper um, kit random and um, in the sketch there is um, some dots so I thought I would get my Heidi Swap polka dot stencil out and this is my homemade texture paste it's just gesso and some baby powder and it works pretty well you do have to clean your stencil immediately after because it does dry and I'm just using an old um, card to put it on and it actually dries pretty quick but I will go off camera and use my heat tool because I'm impatient and I scrapbook in my son's room in one of his closets and he was ready for bed. So I wanted to get this layout done tonight and he wanted to go to bed. So I had to use the heat gun. So I've just taken some of the papers and cut them down to size. This paper um, on the mood board reminded me of the flowers. And I love that paper. I'm a little sad I covered so much of it up. Um, but I will a little bit later find a, another way to bring it in. So I make my banners a couple ways. That one by cutting in the middle and then cutting from the corners. I also sometimes bend um, it. You can see I've taken it and um, added that pretty flower paper to the corners and then added some stitching with my sewing machine. Now in the bottom of the mood board um, are some squares that look like frames to me so I thought I'd get these Heidi Swap frames out. I did cut that black and white one in half and then um, couldn't make it work so I end up using the sparkly pink one. And I just got a new phone, so hopefully this video works out okay. Um, it was giving me a little bit of trouble, um, so the video didn't want to um, give me very long, so I had to pause it several times. But this is the, I guess they're cut-aparts um, from this collection, from the packet. And so I just take several of them and basically sprinkle them all over the page. I almost got all of them used up. I love that flower piece. It does tend to kind of blend into the background a little bit and so in the sketch there is a tag. So I had a Jen Hatfield tag that I add. That little yellow piece in the left up hand corner says American Beauty. And that ampersand I actually ripped, so I had to kind of hide it under there. Now, the picture is kind of funny, and um, that's why I thought the girl was appropriate. So we were in Vegas, and we went to Twin Peaks, and there's this totem pole when you walk in, and it's um, three carved women, and it's, Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Well, my uncle was the architect for this particular uh, restaurant. And he actually designed this totem pole. And they built it and carved it. So I thought that was pretty special. So since we were up in Vegas um, with my husband's business, I said we had to go there and I had to get a picture of it. So... That's the story behind 
the picture. Um, in the mood board, there are um, some triangles or chevrons, whichever you'd like to call them. Um, so these little gold stickers are just from Hobby Lobby. And I stuck to the sketch pretty closely in regards to um, placement of some things. And it did have these little arrows on it as well. Now, where the title is going to go, I took two of the border strips from the sticker sheet and added them as an anchor to where my title is going to sit. Now, normally I will put some on um, some wax paper, but this time I knew exactly where it was going to go. So, of course, I finish it off with a little Heidi Shine in gold. And sorry for that glitch. I'll try to get rid of that. But here's some close-ups. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'm looking forward to another challenge. So have a good week. Just a reminder, always wear your crown.